Good afternoon. It's Friday the 10th and it's time to review the weekend photos. Um, another interesting week and of course we all know what happened yesterday and today which is we got hammered with some snow but that's New England. That's the way it's supposed to be. Um, it started off a heck of a lot drier than it did um, and this was actually shot in Wareham um, and it was real early in the morning and this guy's out there all by himself just cohogging. If you guys don't know what cohogs are, well, I feel bad for you. They're really good. <laughs> but it takes a lot of effort and that's using uh, a manual rake. So basically he, he has like a, uh, it looks like a rake with a basket on it and he goes like this and then you pull that out of the water and put it on his boat. But that was really cool. That was Monday. On Tuesday, as you guys all know, the Patriots won the Super Bowl, or maybe you don't know if you live overseas, but football is a rather big thing around here. Um, and, you know, people in New England really love their Patriots. Now, I live in New England, but I have to admit I'm not a Patriots fan. I'm a Jets fan. Now, relax, don't put any comments yet. It's all good. <laughs> uh, but it's funny because um, this is another one of those moments where... If you're just looking for something as a photographer, in essence, you're excluding everything else. And in this case, I happened to go to the top of a parking garage and I was overlooking the city. And I don't know why, I just noticed this pickup truck coming this way. And I just, in a split second, I just cranked that uh, aperture down so I could have a lower shutter speed and I can have that motion thing. And I didn't even realize that it's not just an American flag, it's, it's actually a Patriots flag, if you look really closely. And they call it Patriots Nation around here, so I thought it was kind of cool. Um, this was Wednesday, and it's funny, we have, uh, New Bedford is the, the whaling city, that's what it's called. And a few years ago, a very famous artist painted a whole set, a series of murals on the side of um, uh, a fish house, a fish processing plant. And it was kind of cool because only on one side can you actually walk by it because of the way that the fencing is in. And I happened to notice that there was a guy walking. You can see, if you actually see here, there, there's some steps here. And he came out of this plant to go to his car or something, and he's walking by with that red shirt. And it, it was just kind of cool. It looks like he's walking underwater. Almost like, um, you know, he's, uh, he's walking with the... Uh, with, with giants in, in the background taking a peek at him. So that was really cool. Now, that was also Wednesday. Um, the storm front was already coming in, so we knew we were gonna get uh, hit pretty hard with some kind of uh, storm front yesterday. So I noticed that the fishing fleet started all coming back, and it's kinda cool. You can see, look at this boat. It's actually like running away from the from that weather front that is directly behind them. In this case, it was really foggy, and you could see that something was coming in, the, in this direction. So it was kind of cool that he was just in front of that fog. And then, well, and then yesterday, the snow started coming down pretty hard. So one of the things about like covering snows and storms, and it's um, you really need to get out there. I, I, I know that sounds like intuitive, right? You can't take photos unless you're out there. But it's, it's that like, you know, it's not good enough. I need to be out there a little bit longer. I need to just see w w what is the storm all about? What's happening? And that's how you get photos like this. You have to be out there, you have to get soaked, and that's okay. The cameras are actually pretty good at, at you know, not dying on you unless you dunk them in water, but they're pretty good, they're pretty resilient. So I got this photo, and then I thought, well, you know, it's pretty good. And actually, this photo got quite a, quite a lot of, um, of run at different places. And then I, about two hours after that, when the storm was really coming down hard, I found this mailman delivering. And I was like, man, I would not want to be delivering mail right now. And um, this is just one of those moments, if you look closely, his, eye, his eyeglasses are all frozen. And he's trying to see the addresses on this mail. And the, the reason that the photograph works is, is obviously there's the first, you know, the, the first thing that you get from it, which is the snow all attached to his jacket. It's all sticking on there. And then you start taking in what's happening in the photograph, and you see how deep the steps are in the snow and where he came from. 
those are the those are the elements as far as a photograph. The storytelling elements is what really makes the photo come alive. It's not just a guy; it's a whole story. Uh, how cold is he? Um, and then, you know, you can read the date right on there in the actual mail itself. So it gives you a reference time frame. And this photograph um, was not only on the the front page of the Saint Times; it was also lead art in the Wall Street Journal. So. It's really cool to see it, you know, when your work gets out there and people appreciate it and take it out. This was already shot today. Now people are digging out because yesterday people are just kind of like, you know, lived in their own bubble at home that they want to go out, which is cool. But you know what? You know what's funny? Like the harder it snows, the more a photojournalist needs to do. The harder we actually work, right? Which is kind of like what you don't actually want to do. You want to kind of just sit home and take it all in. But today, we all started digging out. So this was shot in Fairhaven, um, and I really love this photograph. Um, I, I was looking at this woman shoveling a little track of snow across the huge expanse that was all completely packed with snow, and she's out there shoveling, you can tell she's exhausted, and then she just puts the shovel down, and she just can't take it anymore, she's just totally beat. Um, it turns out um, that she is uh, from G. Bourne Knowles, which is in Fairhaven, and they're hired by the Unitarian Church to clear the sidewalk area around uh, the church. So it was a great week, it was a cold week, and it was a New England week, and that's pretty much all you can expect, right? So thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you again next week.